Hi everyone! So I figured today I would make a video because this morning I passed my AZ-104 Azure Administrator exam. So I figured I would make a video to talk about it, to talk about how it went, what I did to study, how it was to take the exam from home. So I figured I would make a video about that explaining all that to you guys. Hey, welcome to another video. My name is Carolyn. I am a cloud engineer, software developer, and entrepreneur, and I make videos on those topics. If you like this video, or at least the puppy, if you like the puppy, see, if you like the puppy, you can click like and subscribe, and let's go. So let's get started. So my journey to getting that certification started in February 2020. I took a class that my employer paid for. It was a one week long certification class. Sorry, the puppy left. At the end of it, we had a free exam. But during that time, in February 2020, COVID hit and I was not able to take the certification. So I was like, I'm going to wait. It's going to be like a month or two before and then COVID is going to be gone. We'll be fine. We'll, we'll be back to work. We'll have like the certification centers working. We'll have all that and we'll be able to get my certification. Well, clearly, if you haven't been living under a rock, you know that COVID was not over after a month in 2020. Uh, it's still not over. My free voucher for the exam was about to expire. I figured I might as well just go and take the exam and just do it and get it over with. So in March, I took the exam, March 3rd, today, when I'm recording this video, I took the exam. But before that, I had to get a refresher because the class was in February 2020. And obviously, it was not even an AZ-104 at the time. I think it was something else. It, it was a different exam. Uh, things looked different in Azure. So I had to take a refresher course. So I took a uh, course from Scott Duffy on Udemy and I took that course over the course of a few months. So I looked at the class every now and then. So every few, at least once a week, I would look at a course, a section of the course, and I would study like that. I'm not a big fan of video learning, so, I mean, the course was great, but it's just hard to be into the course in huge stretches of time. So it took me quite a while to get through the whole course, but I did uh, manage to get through it. But concurrently, I am a cloud engineer. So that means I get to work with the cloud. I get to do things in the cloud on a regular basis. So that made it a lot easier for me to get familiar with Azure. I got to play with Azure. I got to do things in Azure. And so thankfully, some of the things covered in the exam, I got to play around with in a live tenant. So it was very helpful to do. When I was done with studying for the exam, what I did is I bought a few practice exams again on Udemy and I'm going to put the links down below. Uh, there's no sponsorship at all. There, I'm not uh, affiliated with the courses in any way. These are just the courses I took to pass the certification. Those are the exams I took. Uh, there are the ones I did. There's definitely others out there. You can see some on the Microsoft website where they have the official exam practice test but I took the ones from Udemy and they were very good, honestly, they were, they were pretty good. So I took eight practice exams in the days leading up to the certification. For the certification, what I did is I went through and did it uh, at home. So instead of going to a uh, Pearson Center or P whatever it's called, a, a, a center where you sit in front of a computer and you answer the questions and there's somebody watching you. I, I did it from home. So I did it in this room. I actually did a different setup here uh, with the computer. I cleared the desk. I put my laptop on the desk. There was nothing on here. I actually made it face this wall. So there was like nothing to see. 
and then I took the exam. So the way it, the exam goes is you register for the exam and they ask you to do a system check for your um, system before, before you do the exam. Like you should probably do it like when you register if you can. And so they, they run a program on your computer, which is the same program that will run when you um, take the test. They run a few tests on your computer to make sure you have the right bandwidth, that they can access your microphone, that they can access your camera. Um, they, you go through a little tiny test, which is really, uh, is this working, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, it doesn't count for anything. It's just a test to make sure that everything is working and you understand how it works. The day of the exam, what happened is they asked me to clear off my desk. I mean, as part of the instructions, nobody came into my room or talked to me in any way to tell me to clear up my desk. I cleared up my desk. They had me, asked me to take four photos with my phone facing uh, different directions in the room so that they can see the whole room and make sure everything was fine. Then you send, send it to them. Then you can resume and take the exam. They asked you to check in 30 minutes early. I was like 20 minutes early, which is fine because I was early. And uh, you just wait. They were like, oh, you have, there's like four people in front of you. And then they're like, it's your turn. And so they, they give you a few instructions all written in English. And uh, you read through them and all that stuff. And then the exam starts. So the exam was 64 questions. 150 minutes, so two and a half hours to complete the exam. Uh, it started with a case study. You may or may not have a case study and it may may or may not be at the beginning or the end of the exam. So it's, but a case study is basically they tell you um, prerequisites. They tell you what they want the desired state to be. And they tell you, here's what we're trying, we're doing. Will that fit the requirements? So fairly easy. Then you have standard questions in Azure. If I do this, this, and that, does that satisfy this? Or what is the problem with that? What do I need to do? If, uh, if you go through practice exams, you'll see that they are basically the same thing that you would go through in, um, in the test, so it wasn't that hard. There was no hands-on work, so everything was theoretical, and um, it, it was a bit, a lot of reading. <laughs> so, and you really had to know what uh, the answer was. You had to understand Azure. You had to understand the cloud, which obviously it's a certification, but it went pretty well. Uh, the one thing I have to say, like, if you are taking this exam, the one thing that tripped me up, and I know I got an answer wrong because I discovered that when they ask you to leave feedback about the questions is, well, you have to scroll, right? It, at least on my Mac, the, the scroll bar on the side it gets hidden if it's not used. So if at least on the Mac, if you're not scrolling, the scroll bar is hidden. So there was a question where something about an alert and whatever and how many emails. And I was like, what? I couldn't, tr I couldn't figure out because there was like information meaning missing about like how often the alert is evaluated. And I was like, I don't, I'm just gonna assume it's gonna be five minutes as the default. But then when I went through and uh, gave feedback, I accidentally scrolled on that question. And I realized that they actually said, oh, the, the alert is set to evaluate every one minute. I'm like, well, <laughs> so yeah. So be careful, you have to scroll. And the question, if you take the exam from home, hope maybe probably the same thing if it's proctored in person. So that's really the one thing that tripped me up that was like just, Ah, it, it, there was no easy way to figure out that the question was more than what, what you saw on the screen. So, yeah, but overall it was fine. The exams that I'm going to put into the description help you a lot. They are very accurate. Some questions even with different um, 
names and things like that but some of the questions actually came back in the exam I was like yes perfect you know so if you are planning on taking the exam yourself and you are planning on doing it from home I hope this video was helpful if you are planning on taking the exam yourself please make sure you practice make sure you're familiar with the jure make sure you go into Azure and you do work in Azure. Otherwise, it's going to be very abstract to you. Don't just follow a video. You can also do the labs, the self-paced labs. I'm going to put the links in the description below. That's all I have for you. If you have questions, if you have additional questions, things I did not co cover about this exam, let me know. I will plan on taking the AZ204 soon uh, i have my training next week and um i will have a video for this exam when i go through it so stay tuned for that and uh, let's get on to the bloopers okay so let's get lean lily do you want to come do you want to come all right so it was a one week long a certification class. I'm talking to the camera. 